Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you have an amazing day today. I'm taking you guys to visit the world's largest bird park. KL Bird Park is the world's largest free flight bird aviary. And here they have more than 2,000 birds inside here with more than 200 species that you can find here. Most of the birds here are free roaming. You can interact with them at a closer distance. Most of them like the peacock, the dove, yellow stalk, they are all free inside this KL Bird Park. But only like few numbers of birds like the parrot, the lorry, the eagle, the hornbill, they are all inside cage. But let's say for the birds and the people, there are a lot of them all around this park. Without further ado, let's begin our tour inside KL Bird Park. Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome to another episode of Halal UDG. Today I'm on the way to KL Bird Park. Right now I'm waiting for the Grab driver to pick me up in front of the post office because just now I took MRT to Pasar Seni and because the walking distance is around 2 km, it will take like 30 minutes but I am rushing so I'll just take a grab. So after 5 minutes grab ride from Pasar Seni to KL Bird Park, so I, I have right here at Prosmi at Inget. So I'm gonna go and purchase the ticket because for online we need to purchase one day a day. So because I just walk in, so let's just buy the ticket. The, the ticket costs 75 ringgit for adults and for children below 12 years old, it is 50 ringgit. And for my card holder, it is 35 ringgit for adults and 15 ringgit for children. And the entrance is free for kids below 3 years old. This is the map of KL Bird Park. They have full zone. Let's go inside and explore it first. Selamat datang ke KL Bird Park. So upon entrance, we'll find a pond inside here and this KL Bird Park. They are covered with net. But I saw this one bird is currently walking above the net. I don't know how does it um, reach up there. I'm already inside so I can see over there. I thought that's yellow stalk but they have red feathers so I'm quite surprised to see the red feathers. I am just going to walk around first and see the birds. They are all free roaming here. You guys can you see on top of the tree where is it? They are all filled with what is it actually? Flamingo? Because only flamingo is pink, this is but you guys before I even started my camera already got the poop from the bird. Ah so just now I was standing below that tree and suddenly I got a gift. Ah. Okay, everything is clean. It's only like less than five minutes. I'm inside here. Then I already, I already get a free gift, the bird poop. So just now I went to see the bird, and there was like the tree back there. There's a tree, and there are a lot of birds over there. I don't know what is it, flamingo or stalk. Suddenly, eh? Why do I saw monkey? There's monkey in front of me. Two of them. So I don't know if I should go or not. This is zone three. Do you guys see that there's monkey over there? So if I want to go inside there, I might need to quickly, quickly walk in. Cool. Hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So they are they are picking up fruits, food from the garbage bin. Hello, hi. So now we see the hornbill. Besarnya, ada seko je ke? Seko je. Okay, so at my back over here is the great hornbill. <laughs> Suddenly it start to move when I want to start recording this. What's this doing? Great hornbill is actually one of the heaviest and largest species of hornbill. They are native to the South Asia from India up to Malay Peninsula and their natural habitat is in the rainforest in lowland and up to highland area and then 
their natural diet is based on food and if we want to know if it's male or female we have to look at the eye so if the eyes is red color it's a male hornbill but if the eye is white it is a female hornbill so let's go and check the gender of this hornbill Wonderful, merah. Okay, so I can see over there the color of the eyes is red. So this is a male hornbill. Okay, basically, guys, I'm just going to walk and I'm not gonna look at the map because I've been here in I think October and I already record this place. But unfortunately, my SD card was corrupted. So all of the video that I took on my phone, I have to reshoot again. So that's why I come here again today just to reshoot. But Alhamdulillah, luckily the videos, the B-roll that I took on my DSL is okay it's not lost so I have to come here to reshoot the video whatever that my aero video so that is close to nine or ten months ago that I came here so I'll just walk around the bird park okay I fished towards the end to be in zone 4 they have waterfall flowing down and there's a pond down the waterfall Three thirty right now is. Alamak, enam minit lagi. Kat mana? Zone four amphitheater over there. Okay. Okay, so they have a show at three thirty today because I already miss all kind of show and feeding today because I only reach here around three o'clock. So I'm gonna go head to the end of zone four to the amphitheater to wait for the bird show and then we're gonna walk back to explore this KL bird park, okay? In my bag over there is the amphitheater for the bird show so I have to walk around to go there, so let's go. Hi! Yeah, welcome to KL bird park. Selamat datang ke Taman Borong Kuala Lumpur, okay? Alright, before we start our show, how are you guys feeling today? Good? Awesome. Yeah, alright, so. Uh, apa khabar semua? Apa khabar? Ah, so everybody, are you guys ready for the show? Yeah! yeah. Alright, so let's start our show, yeah? So I would like to invite our first performer of today. Please welcome Mr. Green, the yellow South Korean president, Kogachu! And Mr. Roy Han, our trainer. Four, five, six, yeah. And next, ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Goku, how are you today, Goku? So, Goku, over here we have a lot of new friends, right? So, do you have something to say to them? Hello. Oh, hello. Wow, so friendly, okay. So, Goku, as you can see, over here we have pretty ladies. Uh, can you say hi? Hi. Okay, hi. Very sweet, right? Okay, now Coco, how about you say something to kids and children here? Yeah? Can you give them a happy hello or crazy hello? Hello! <laughs> yeah! Very happy hello, right? Ah, so happy today, okay. So Coco, right now I have one question for you. How do you feel today? Do you feel good or not? Females have red eyes and females have white eyes. Ah, okay? 
And this type of home build, they are native to South America, uh, sorry, Southeast Asia, okay? Asia Tenggara, eh? including Thailand, Malaysia, and, and besides fruits, they also eat meat. Ah, such as the uh, small rodents, small rats, and sparrows, and also reptiles. Yeah, well done, good job! So, a little info about uh, green wing macaw. It's the second largest macaw in the world, all right? And they are native to South America. And their favorite food, such as sunflower seeds, peanuts, sour fruit. Nice playing, all right. Yeah, okay, good job, Dizu. So, uh, by the way, uh, the average lifespan can reach up to 40 to 60 years old. Oh, what a long lifespan, right? And very smart bird, you know, you can teach them a lot of tricks and say a lot of words also. But they have very loud voice, you know? Uh, a lot, okay? <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. yeah. So, right now, everyone, Dizu is going to show you something. I uh, have a short performance. So, let's wait for music first. Ah, Dizu is going to be dancing for us. Okay. Dizu, are you ready, Dizu? Ready to move your body. Ah, so, very excited already. Okay. Okay, everyone. Let's clap our hands together. Yeah, okay, Tim Ringo, 
shout as loud as you can. Ringo, ringo, three times. Ready? One, two, three. Ringo, ringo, ringo. ringo. All right. Very good, everyone. Terima kasih. Okay, so now let's get ready with the list. Okay, team four part, blue side, team Ringo, yellow side. Huh? Ah, who will win the match? Let's get ready, okay? So, Chili Girls, how are you ready? Yeah, ready? Yeah, okay, now, let's start. On your mark, go and set, and go! Yeah! Oh, boy, here we go! 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 And last three, four, five. Okay, wow, finish already. Oh, so the winner team, we go! Well, it happened so fast that I could barely see them. Let's replay this video. Well, guys, look closely. Ringo is getting three rings at one time, so that's why he wins. That's either cheating or he's being smart. And you can also see that the other trainer is frustrated because of that. So, me, I will find the guys inside one of the ball. They are going to be done. Okay. Are you ready, Tommy? Ready to start? Focus first. Look at the dice. Are you ready? Okay, concentrate. Okay, let's start. Mommy, come on, focus. Let's try one more. Mommy, are you ready for this act? Ah, stop playing around. In overall, the bird show is so much fun because we get to learn about the birds and we get to see them performing tricks and all. And you guys need to come here and experience it yourself. Alright, good job. Very good example, eh? Alright, Ariel, okay, the parrot uh, can do this also, can we? So please keep our environment clean, okay? Last one. Excellent! We have to area our African Grey Carrot, okay? On my far right is Mr. Raihan with Ringo. On my right side is Mr. Ali with Kiel. On my left side is Mr. Shafiq with Ariel. And my name is Rizwan. Thank you for coming to the bird park. Have a nice day and bye-bye. We have finished watching the bird show. The show is around like 20 minutes. And right now, I'm going to continue to explore the Zone 4. This is the water aviary. This is the best part about coming to KL Bird Park that you can be very close to the animal because they are all free. They are not inside cage. Some of them are inside cage, but there are a lot of free roaming birds over here. These are stock. And I'm not sure what is this. Is it heron? Heron. The one with brown feather. Let me see. What's the name? These are the birds that you can find in the water aviary. They have black crown night heron, sacred ibis, cattle egret, spot bill pelican. They have milky stalk or burung bota upe. 
and Indian people. So let's take a look around the water every and find them. I think this is Heron, but it's not in the picture just now. And that's Pelican. That's the stalk. And I don't see any ibis, but over there, if you can see uh, inside the hut over there is the people. Just now, all along this <laughs> walkway is the stalk. This is the pelican at my back here. So when I was walking uh, along this area, they start to fly. But it's okay because I think in zone 1 or zone 2, there will be more stock. Last time when I came here, I went to the zone 1 and zone 2 first. So they have a lot of stocks over there. But I purposely come to this side first because I want to quickly finish one zone and then walk to another one. So in front of me, you can see the birds. The peacock is running away. You guys see, because the color is the same as the grass, so it's a little bit difficult to distinguish them. I'm so lucky because suddenly the ranger is going to feed the stalk. So let's go and see. I'm quite lucky today because I managed to see the bird feeding time because wow <laughs> because I thought there's no more bird feeding time I think from the from the schedule I think the last one was around 2 50 but alhamdulillah luckily we get to see the bird feeding there's a peacock in my bag over there. There's quite a lot of them here. Huh. So let's go back to the the question at the front. Just now I missed out the I think pirate. I think pirate. So let's go back. Before I end this video, let's reflect upon a verse from Al Quran from Surah Hud, chapter 11, verse 6, which means there is no creature on earth but upon Allah its provision and He knows its place of dwelling and place of storage. All is in a clear register. Isn't it amazing that every day that we live on this earth, Allah has written the sustenance for all of us. He writes everything in detail that He didn't even leave out the animals and the birds, from the biggest creatures up to the smallest one like microorganism. Otherwise, who would feed these birds? Who would feed the stray cats and dogs? And how would those in the wild survive without foods and drinks? Allah's greatness and knowledge encompasses every single thing about His creation. That includes the place of their dwellings and the place where they store the food. Therefore, if you find ourselves having difficulties to sustain ourselves and our family, let's remind ourselves that Allah had written the sustenance for each of us. But it is up to us to make the effort to look for it. Just like this bird, the rangers are here to feed them. But if they don't walk to this feeding point, they won't be able to eat the fish anyway. So that's all from me in this episode. In the next episode, we'll continue to explore the other side of KL Bird Park. There are a lot of interesting birds to see and interact with. And this place is so massive that I took 3 hours to explore it. Even I've came here twice. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to watch my next video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video inshallah. Until then, Assalamualaikum and Maasalamah.